<laughs> hey, this is Angie for Happy Healthy Vegan. And uh, I'm going to do something just a little bit different today for my uh, vlog, my what I ate in a day, yada yada vlog. Uh, I've got a few challenges going on uh, doing home filming. First of all, some neighbors are doing some construction, so it's been a bit loud. And also I've been using the dehydrator in my kitchen, which is also loud. So this morning I made Ryan and I a big pot of oatmeal. It's the uh, hearty homemade oatmeal recipe from the Keep It Carb Baby cookbook. It's packed with fresh Fuji apples and raisins, so it's just so delicious. And we enjoyed it out in the garden. I've really been enjoying my side yard a lot. The camellia blooms are so pretty and it's um, a lot warmer in the side yard than it is in the house. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been getting a little bit of sun. So some of you guys have been asking about my squirrel friends. To be honest, I haven't seen them as much lately, but I saw one way up in my neighbor's tree and I was totally tripping. And then today a squirrel actually popped by for a treat. I'm really kind of running low on like excess produce to give the squirrels, but I found a little sample of some dried fruit. Okay, this guy's getting the good stuff right now. Yeah, that's delicious, huh? So the possums have still been coming around a little bit as well, though I have not seen the mama possum since that one night that I came on Ryan's live stream and talked about it, so hopefully she's doing okay. But there's another little possum that Ryan keeps seeing uh, coming down from our roof, going down the bougainvillea. Eventually it makes its way to the porch. He swung by today, but unfortunately I hadn't put any kibble or any fruit out yet because it was so early. I'm, I'm so shocked by how early the possum's coming. Another thing I've been doing to keep my mood up is uh, reading. So I just finished my Sarah Dessen novel today. Um, this was one of two books I had checked out from the library before they closed down. Um, it was nice to read a uh, like a summertime um, young adult like coming of age and romance novel. Just you know what could be more pleasant than that you guys. Oh, and I've told this to a few people online and they were really stoked, so I should mention it here, that if you already have a library card, you can still be checking out books using an app called Libby. So check that out, because we're gonna be needing a lot of eBooks the next couple of months. So Friday evening, I got this message on my cell phone. Beep, 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 oh my gosh. It was kind of scary to see it, but then again, I wasn't actually that surprised by the mandate because the last time I rode my bike last Saturday, I was actually surprised by how many people were walking and riding bikes and gathering in the parks. There were people just everywhere. There were cars lined up to get down to the beach, so I didn't go down to the beach bike path. I figured it wasn't going to be proper social distancing there. I had kind of hoped to get out to Walker Canyon again this year because the roads there are really wide. The hiking paths are actually like, um, big enough for fire trucks to get through. So I thought there was a possibility that Ryan and I could maintain social distancing there and still try to see some wildflowers. But now all the parks are closed, so that dream is over. But the one thing that still makes Saturday fun is that the last two weekends, Dead & Company uh, have been doing free live streams through um, nugs.tv. So their concerts are three hours long. So having a three hour concert <laughs> starting at five in the afternoon does make it seem a lot more like a Saturday. Ryan and I put everything aside and um, just stopped to enjoy the music, which is really fun. I made this um, delicious layered bean dip, which you may have seen on Instagram. I accidentally made way too much of my nacho cashew cheese, so I used some of that to make some kale chips. Uh, but I still have plenty more that I can do um, vegan mac and cheese tomorrow or something. I wish I'd had a little bit more kale on hand. I just have enough for two trays, but still, two trays of kale chips are going to be much appreciated. All right, it's the big reveal. Wow, the kale really does shrink up, doesn't it? Let's check it out. Ooh, nice and crunchy. So my mailbox opening today is 100% not sponsored and not free. I actually paid good money for this, but it's so delicious I thought I would share it with you guys. So gosh, many years ago, Ryan and I were out in Mountain View. We went to the farmer's market there and I had the most delicious dried apricots of my life. And they just happened to send me an email about them giving away a little thing of apricot jam with every order and I got sucked in. And the next thing you know, I got all of this. All right, I can't resist trying one of these. Mmm, so freaking good. 
All right, and how about a couple almonds? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Healthy snacks. So I actually filmed a nice little lunch recipe demo for you guys, so I'll let that roll now. So if you follow Happy Healthy Vegan on Instagram, you may have seen me recently post a picture or two of a miso soup that I've been enjoying for lunch. Uh, it's a very easy recipe, so I thought I would share it with you today. So this is the miso that I picked up at Whole Foods, not sponsored. It's, let's see, Gold Mountain Japanese style shiro miso, which is a light yellow miso. Then to make up for the lack of kombu, I actually found this in my pantry there. It's norikami furikake. You have to make sure to read the ingredient list when you buy this at the store because a lot of them will have bonito flakes and you don't want that because that's fish. I've got two cups of water, some dried shiitake mushroom slices. So I'm just gonna let these stay in here until they reconstitute a little bit. Well, the water is starting to boil and the mushrooms are smelling so heavenly, so I'm gonna start putting in my miso paste. So I'm just gonna be doing one tablespoon per cup. I may need two hands for this, guys. Let's see. Ooh. So you wanna stir this in until all the lumps of miso paste have melted down and blended in. So at this point, it wouldn't be a bad idea to give it a little sip to see if it's too strong, because you can always add more water to dilute it down. Mm, it's pretty dang good. Right, and I'm just going to plate it, or bowl it in this case. All right, so I've got some furikake on top. So honestly, this is enough miso soup for both Ryan and I, but I wanted to plate it in the super cute bowl for you guys. All right, so I transferred half of it into another bowl for Ryan, and now I'm going to take a sip of mine. Mmm. Ah, so... So good. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on some miso and you can make some of this miso soup as well because I really enjoy it. So another thing I did to make staying home a little more enjoyable is I spent some time really cleaning out this office space and I've got to say it feels so good in here. So not only did I give it a good organizing and sweeping and a little bit of a dusting, I also decorated a little bit more. For Christmas, Ryan had surprised me with BTS's Seasons Greetings 2020 package, which if you don't know what that is and you're curious, you can watch my video of me unboxing it <laughs> from earlier this year, which is on my Angie B channel. So I searched around the house for a few uh, photo frames and I put a few up because seeing their smiling faces makes me feel, well, a little less alone and it also cheers me up. So don't judge me, I just love BTS. So with my office all clean and organized, it's so much easier for me to do yoga in here in the morning. And uh, I actually did like a really good workout. I did not film it. <laughs> I was working out on oh, some BTS. And so I was doing like some stretching and some meditative poses. And then I got more active. And then when UGG came on from their new album, I went nuts. I went full force for the entire song. I was like laughing and just jumping and punching and just, you know, having a good time. And I worked up a really good sweat got my heart rate going. I was just trying to make up for the fact that I, you know, haven't been going to the gym and I have not been getting out like I used to. But it definitely helped with my mood so much. And speaking of BTS, they are going to be on James Corden in just a few minutes. So I'm trying to hustle up and finish this. I'm so excited to see what they do for the home fest. It seems like everyone online is talking about spending their whole day's binge watching Netflix. And I've got to say that Ryan and I haven't gotten to that point in our quarantine whatsoever. We haven't binge watched anything. We're watching the normal amount of TV. Gosh, we've been self quarantined for like three weeks now, honestly. We're watching Survivor and we did go back and watch uh, the last season of Survivor, which we hadn't watched uh, in real time. And we watched Picard on CBS, Ink Master, we may have seen a couple episodes of Ancient Aliens. Other than that, we haven't really been watching much. Um, I started watching my Hollow Love at night when I go to sleep. That's that's pretty much it. We, we aren't watching a lot of stuff on Netflix. I tend to watch more stuff on Viki, but even that, I haven't watched that much lately either. I'm keeping busy. I don't know. I'm different. Like many of the other things I enjoy buying on Amazon, they were out of my favorite mushrooms, so I got this mixed mushroom mix, and wow, there are some seriously weird mushrooms in here, you guys. So I think these mushrooms are gonna work out okay in my minestrone soup. I've got the last of my wild rice, so sad about that. You know, some other ingredients that I still had on hand, fresh and dried. 
So dinner was another recipe for my Keep It Carb Baby Cookbook, the hearty minestrone soup. I want to mention there's only a couple copies of this left in uh, the hard edition. Um, I don't know, I think there's like 10 left, but I am still offering the ebook version of this um, for 50% off, just $6.50 for 45 whole food, oil-free, plant-based recipes. I would say 99% of this is gluten-free. There's like one recipe that uses wheat flour. Other than that, there's a sandwich that you can just do as a wrap and oats as long as you get uh, the gluten-free oats, um, you're good to go. A lot of pantry staples in there, so I think it could be helpful for you while you're possibly, what, teaching yourself to cook while you're in quarantine? I don't know, I'm really curious. How many of you are learning how to cook for the first time? Let me know in the comments down below. How exciting. Wow. Aww. Aww. And the final thing I wanted to tell you guys about today is that I saw one of the raccoons again. It's back. Aww. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, it's gonna climb down. Oh, it just climbs down right over there. That's it. So that's it for what I did today. I hope you found it interesting, perhaps informative, maybe entertaining. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this new format. I am curious. Leave your questions and comments down below. I'll like the video if you're into it. Share it with a friend. And most importantly, until next time, keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. that this is a strange and terrifying time and I just yeah. want you to know that Tell we are Papa all Mochi. in this together. Tonight is about bringing people together to keep them apart. Aww. I mean, the time's